What up, my name is Brad, welcome back to Dragon Ball Legends. I wanted to go through this real quick and be like, hey, you know what, this actually isn't too bad. I have to give them a little bit of props because there's a fair amount of free-to-play stuff to grind. And you know what, we're gonna go through and add it up to what we can really get to. Obviously, they're gonna fluctuate a lot, you have a lot of the little tiny things you can get from powering up, boosting characters and whatever else, right? Uh, clearing the Raditz event, stuff like that. I'm not gonna include that kind of stuff, this is just strictly the update that came, the update that came tonight, uh, Tuesday night. So, let's take a look here real quick. So, one, this is a free to put ticket on that one. That's, that's good, but one, could be better, could be worse. I'm not going to be too mad about it. It's kind of nice if you just need that one final one. Fantastic. That's really good. Ah, uh, the souls, it never hurts to have more souls. That's not a bad thing. It's just kind of like, they're really easy to get. KO character, three times. It makes nice, easy missions on top of They can't just give you free to play crystals all the time, right? But we're sitting down here. This isn't bad. So, we got 50, 50, so we're to 100, 200, 300. 400 just from that event. Okay, I can kind of respect that. Two more of these uh, guaranteed SP tickets. That's nice as well. You know, that's not a bad thing. So it's like three tickets between the two banners. Um, where are we at? 400, so now we're at like 700 crystals. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know if there's any more. Yeah, there's no more in that event, which would be better to be worse, whatever else. Then we're up to 1,000. So we're up to 1,000 free-to-play ones completely, 100%. Definitely, I mean, hop on the carnival smoothies. I'm sick and tired of adventures, the same as you guys are. But you know what? If they're going to reward us with Chrono Crystals, and they're going to give us GSP tickets, and they're going to give us all the kind of stuff for doing it, well, I mean, this one doesn't give, these aren't GSP tickets. <sighs> Alas, they're not quite that nice. <laughs> they're not quite that nice. But it, it's good, it's something. You know what I mean? You never know. There's that kid that's going to pull both LFs off both of these tickets. One of these two tickets. So, you know what? Fantastic. You can get more from doing co-op as well. If you jump over into the exchange shop for co-op, you can jump over here and do that. I've gotten a couple of them. I got straight heroes, and I was like, okay, where am I lesson? But, you know, you combine those five, or those seven, actually. I don't think I can get that. I don't really recommend getting that. It's nicer to get the multi-Z power, 100%. But, if you're really desperate, and you're like, you know, I need at least one of the damn characters. Try your luck, dog. Never go for this. It is not worth 1500 Like, if you're taking into account 120 per day, getting 450 you're looking at, like, it's four days of doing co-op to get 100 crystals. Not terrible, you know. If that's all you're focusing on, you go kind of ham on the banners. You're able to get some units. You have some pretty good luck. Not terrible. Fine. But it's only 300 crystals. Uh, I'm not going to count that because it's, it's been there forever. So, not really worth counting it. Um, I was really hoping they were going to put right here these same things and you could get those tickets for the banner but that would be far too nice i wouldn't even care if they even costed two hundred thousand, like per uh ticket 250 per guaranteed that'd be fine bit crazy but i mean legends is starting to open up a tiny tiny bit i am starting to see the woodworks kind of wind a tiny bit and that's good that's really really good it's just it's still tough to fully say you know this game is free to play friendly I don't think it is. I really, really don't. Because they're getting more and more premium even as they're opening up, which is good, but it's still tough. Uh, I do stand by what I said on this. Don't sum it on this. I understand. I mean, you guys can. There's a lot of people who are saying in the comment section on that previous video, yo, I'm going to summon Brad. I got to summon. I need this character, I need that character. You do what you do with your Chrono Crystals. My recommendation is to save. 100%. When they give you something as crazy as like 12. Well, okay, it says 12.5, but like 0 0.8, it's 12.5 on the other ones, the ones you only buy. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, it is, huh? Let me take a look real quick, just to verify. No, it's not technically speaking, but I mean, everything is on here. Everything. There's some really good extremes. You don't have real though, you don't have GT Goku, you don't have Sh Shisami, you don't have Broly, Nail. Really good extremes. This is a hell of a bait banner. I get it, you guys get it. I saw definitely a lot of people understanding, hey yo, totally big bad. You guys ain't stupid, I know that. You guys know the tactics if you've played the game long enough. I pretty much make that type of video just for people who just started the game and they're like, oh, which if you just started, it's not terrible. It's actually probably a pretty decent banner to summon on if you just started, right? Uh, oh, Legends Premium, is that this one right here that started? That has those guys now, that, that's just for beers, 10%. It's not terrible. I mean, it's got three LFs on it above, like, a five times percentage on these guys. This is like a ten times percentage on these guys normally. So it's not terrible. It's not fully recommended, 
still. Um, you can, definitely. If you, dude, dog, the one thing that I think a lot of people get confused is, like, if you're loaded, like, if you're doing real well cash-wise, hell yeah, hop on that bitch and summon. But if you're, like, 100% free-to-play and you're so tempted and stuff, my best recommendation is to save. I can't give you more than that, honestly. Uh, I would say easily. If you're saving everything, you're similar to Chrono Crystals I'm at, say you're at 3,000, something like that. You can get a nice chance at a new unit that's coming out. Keep an eye out. Something is going to happen soon. Something is going to happen very, very soon. Um, I don't have any inside knowledge, but this time last year is about the time we got LF Goten, which I know Goten's not amazing, but it was still another LF, right? And it was right before the anniversary, because you got to chuck that shit in there and be like, good luck, dog. <laughs> You can see pretty much when it ends, it's ending, this uh, one is going to end around 4.13, which is closing in on the anniversary. Not on the money, but it's closing on that second anniversary. Save. I know. It sucks. I hate saving. Your boy is relatively free to play at this point, because I just, I can't be bothered to spend hundreds of dollars on characters. If I can get a character and spend, you know, 50 bucks, fine, whatever, great. But I mean, chasing those LFs, it's like 25,000 crystals on and off camera. That's too much. That's too much to walk away with zero LFs. It's too much. I understand the game, and I get, you know, it's all RNG. Some people got it in the first 100 crystals. Dude, that's dope. You have no idea. A lot of us content creators, you got to understand, we're very much on your side. Because the happier you guys are with the game, the more that our content succeeds, right? That's just how logic works. It's that you guys are having a good time. You want to watch more videos. We make those videos. We're having a good time because we're not dropping hundreds of dollars. So it benefits everybody in this little ecosystem that is Gosha Games. You just got to be weary with those free-to-play crystals because it seems like, oh, this, that, great. Hey, you know, but going into a new banner with a 1,000, it happens. Take into account we will have top 10K crystals as well. So save for that at the same time. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. If you haven't got the only unit that I could validate you jumping back into these, like if you already spent like 10 plus thousand, uh, the only unit I could really validate is Bardock, really and truthfully. Unless you have a stacked lineage of evil team, or you got super lucky and got LF Piccolo, first multi or whatever else, right? First like 300. Fantastic. Yeah, jump in a tiny, tiny bit more, you definitely can if you're really feeling it. Goku's 100% worth it. Raditz is actually really good. No doubt in my mind about that. Um, don't jump in for extremes. That's the best thing I can tell you on that. <laughs> don't jump into extremes. It's you're never. It's not that you're never gonna get them. You might, but dog, they're gonna pop up on banners later. Like I didn't get nail in his first banner, and somehow now I'm chilling with almost a six star nail. Naturally, I didn't put any multi Z powers into him. Thank God I did Broly. I got Broly a six star with using multi Z powers from both the guild coins. But actually, I need to touch on that. A lot of people ask me this. So in your guild. Even if you had a small guild, save up for a couple months. Oh, that's cool. Save up for a couple months. Uh, fantastic. That's great. Yeah, we get pretty decent rewards because it's, it's a whale. It, it's a total whale guild. But it's like, jump into your guild and go to the exchange shop up here. And even if you have a small guild, you save up for like six months. Some along those lines. You can 100% pick up a couple of these. This is how I got my boy to six stars from like just barely four stars. You know what I mean? And it's like, if you really have an extreme you're just dying to have on a team like Zamasu. It's not that he's an amazing unit, he's a phenomenal bench. Both attacks, as far as I know, I gotta double check that. Now that I said both attacks, I'm like, uh, is he actually both attacks? I'm like 99% sure he is, but I still gotta check real quick. So we'll go green, we'll go extreme. We got Zamasu, I do have him at three stars so we can just double check without going full. So it's six stars, yeah, he's both attacks for God Key and for Green. It's not super relevant, but it's something, right? Again, that's that's a different kind of case. If you have a really good God Key team and you just need a little more damage output, it, it's kind of worth the push. The one thing I want to see Legends really update in the future is like giving us extremes, for example. Just give us like a hunter Z power. You don't have to give it to us, like we can really work for it. Like I love getting Krillin and Gohan completely free just for doing adventures. That was amazing. They need to do more stuff like that. It's tough because you want people to summon, but it's like when we're pulling 17 to, oh my god, I can't even, what is it? It's gotta be close to 40, pulling an extreme unit 40 times to get them to 14 stars. Dog, you can spare one cup. <laughs> Legends, 
has got to get better at some kind of the free-to-play stuff. And I think they're getting there. It's just, you guys have to remember, when you look at something like Doken, for example, whether or not if you like Doken, it doesn't matter. That's the basis that Legends is going to run off of because they've already done this on Doken. They've gone through this kind of stuff. I don't know why I keep clicking into characters. They've gone through this kind of stuff. If you played OG Doken, we're talking like 2016 Doken. Oh God, it was horrible. It was so bad because it was just literally like every, I remember going like 25 to 30 uh, or 25, 250 like for Gogeta. I think S tier Gogeta, which doesn't sound like much now, but back then that was a lot when your board was free to play. And I literally didn't get a, I didn't even get an SSR. So it's like, games are improving. I think the big thing that we need to remember is we got to be careful with our in-game currency. We got to be careful with our IRL currency. I get so many comments of kids saying they, they spent their rent money. And it's like, bro, don't do that, dog. Like, you got to chillax a little bit if you can't pay your rent. It's okay. You'll pull LF Pickle on some random ass banner six months from now. It sucks ass. It's terrible. It's just how it is. Become a content creator and start making videos. <laughs> I don't want to tell you. But even then, bro, your boy makes videos. And it's like, I make more money on YouTube than I make at Staples. I made at Staples when I was a manager. And I still can't pull these damn LFs. So it's like, it's not always the solution. Sometimes you're just going to get lucky. Sometimes you're just not. You guys watched me on the Baby Vegeta and the Sin video. And I got them both in one multi. As I was bitching that I never get the units in one multi. Things happen. Either way, keep it safe with the game. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I appreciate you guys for watching. They're getting better. I promise you that. It's just, try to look a little positive. And I know I'm not the best influence on positivity. Because that's just my personality, naturally. But overall, I do think Legends is improving. It's just, they got to pick up the pace if they want to stay up. Because it's like, second anniversary is a make it or break it point for a lot of games. Like, it's just how it is. Because the first anniversary, everybody's going to be hyped. It doesn't matter. They're going to be hyped. It's one year. Hell yeah. That's when it's like they really need to step it up for the second. They're trying. You can see that they're trying. You just gotta be a little bit careful. Listen to Goresh. I mean, really, truthfully. I hate kissing Goresh's ass, but that motherfucker knows Gasha games more than anybody I've ever met in my life. Like, he just knows what's gonna happen in a Gasha game. So, follow his advice. I follow his advice. Ryan follows his advice. <laughs> it's like, you gotta take that kind of stuff into account, so. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I appreciate you guys for watching. I will catch you around. Thank you so much. Um, make sure you sub if you like Dragon Ball Legends content. I hate saying make sure you sub. If you want to sub, you're going to sub. If you don't want to sub, you're not going to sub. I get you. We just hit 25k. I'd love to keep pushing because it took us forever to get to 25,000. YouTube is just heavily being like, no. Sorry, dog. What was that? Oh, you gained 100 subs today? I'm going to take away 80. And I was like, what? Fuck? Like, <laughs> let me know if you guys are actually unsubbing down below. Because I want to know. Are you actually unsubbing or is YouTube unsubbing you? Because I have no idea at this point. We'll literally go positive 150 subs, and then I'll lose like 80 overnight. And it's like... Like, I got to 25,000 five separate times. And then, oh, we cleaned out subs, and I went back down to 23,800. They cleaned out 1,200 subs in a night. So I want to know if you guys are genuinely, like, unsubbing, <laughs> and what I can do to improve that. But I'm out of here. Make sure you sub if you do enjoy, and I will catch you in the next video. Deuces. Deuces.